Yordanos Abera is showing her tailor how to sew seams on her latest design, a flowery dress with patterns hand-loomed in her one-room workshop. Yordanos is a fashion designer and employs five people to help her create her garments using only Ethiopian fabric and locally made accessories. I started in my home, uh, simply I sketch, I go to the school, and then I start to make a different designs. People know about me, why don't you come to my show to show your products? And then I'll be part of that. I use the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then people know me more. Yordanos entered the Ethiopian fashion industry 10 years ago. Her latest designs include crochet. When you mix it with the uh, traditional and the new style, people can wear it simply and then it's going to be look beautiful too. And then when you do it with uh, the African, the base of the African touch, but a different look, different style, it's going to be good to target the world. Women like Jordanus are the inspiration the African Union is looking for to encourage more women and young people to cash in on the continent's fashion industry. At the AU headquarters in Addis Ababa, designers from all over Africa have displayed their garments to show that this is possible. We are saying Africa is the new inspiration of global fashion. We've seen what Europe, America, Asia and other continents you know, have to offer in the clothing industry. But one, indus one, um, um, one continent that has not been explored is the African continent. According to the African Development Bank, the value of the global fashion industry is expected to double over the next decade generating up to $5 trillion a year. Africa has got so much power. Coming to fabric, you know, you would, it grabs an eye. Come in Europe, you would see in, in every, come in a household, come in a boutique or wherever, you'll see something just twist in an African fabric. So that's how strong and powerful African fabric can be. Today there's a way of jazzing up, you know, and mixing um, the, the, the Western culture and the African culture. So we are actually bringing a lot because they have now the fashion world from the West. They have a big pool of other fabrics to choose from. The designers insist that intra-African trade will be key. African fashion designers say the turning point in the industry will come when we Africans start wearing our own creations. Jordanos is lucky her designs grace international catwalks. She and other designers here are well aware they'll need to work hard to claim their part in the global fashion scene. Kuleto Anjohi for CCTV in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.